dank introduction goes here. Hey guys, it's me, Josh, aka the Joscar on YouTube and Twitch. I'm here today to kind of show you this uh, time lapse. This is my first time lapse build I've ever done. Um, one of the things I've been trying to do lately is learn how to build less boxy builds. As you can see right now, I'm just adding different shaped boxes to my same boxy house. So it's a work in progress, guys. Um, this house is less boxy, though, than some of my other builds. Um, a lot of the builds I've ever made ended up kind of being a square or a rectangle, and that was it. And quite a few of y'all have come into like my Twitch chat and mentioned that, and so I've been trying real hard to try to think outside the box. And so here you can see I added a wing. It's where the master bedroom is going to be. And then I have these two little rooms that jut out on the front, which I think are really cute. And um, sorry that it started out dark in the beginning of this video. I finally turned the light on when I got to this point when I was like, huh, maybe they want to see what I'm actually doing. So here I'm kind of just trying to use the different uh, textures on the outside of the house to try to make it look good. Those wooden panels are actually out of the spa pack, which I thought was interesting. I think they make the house look very interesting. Here I am kind of messing around with the porch. I really wanted it to line up against the fence, but clearly that did not work out for me. So I decided to put some bushes over it to just cover that gap, and it ended up looking a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, here go the stairs and some other pieces. Again, like I said, I, I tend to have some pretty boxy builds, so this is a good step for me. And here I am trying to put the stairs in at the beginning. This is kind of abnormal for me. I would normally put my stairs in afterwards because on all of my houses that I've ever built on stream for you guys, I've been building the house as I go. I start with this little square room and I put as much stuff in it and then I add an additional room next to it and suddenly they have a one bedroom little house and then I add the kitchen and I kind of build it incrementally. Here. I've already built the whole shape of the house and now I have to fill in the little pieces. So as you can see, here I am putting the kitchen in and I'm kind of struggling with these cabinets right now, but uh, I kind of was struggling at the time with how am I going to fit all these things in? And so it's interesting to me because I thought I was going to just kind of stop the kitchen right there and I put the strip around it and I said, no, you know what, let's just keep building it all the way down and let's just put the dining area around there with the same floor. And I thought it ended up looking really good like this. So there's merits to building both ways. The other way is really good for when I play The Sims. I like to play The Sims without having any kind of cheats or money hacks or anything like that. So I do not use mother load on it and I just kind of build as I go. When you have infinite money like I do in this particular speed build, you kind of get to go about it in a different way and so this is kind of exciting for me. I had a really hard time trying to pick out what colors of all these things I wanted in the kitchen. Couldn't decide on a painting or what and I ended up with those little black and white photos and a classy picture on the other side. Over here I was trying to decide if I wanted to put anything on top of the bar. Decided not to. And then I decided to start working on the living room, so I started just kind of taking the big areas. I put blackout curtains, or that's what those are meant to be, because if you were to put a TV in front of a window, you'd want to make sure that no light's coming through. And I started kind of decorating with that. I have a problem with rugs and carpets in general in this game without using custom content, and so I had a really hard time trying to figure out how I was going to stage this room. But these uh, particular couches ended up really helping me out. Uh, I was also told in my stream by actually a couple of different people that you can use these um, particular pieces of furniture over your fireplace to try to make it look like a chimney stack and it looks really good. So instead of just putting it over the oven, you put it over your fireplace and it looks like you have a whole chimney coming out of your fireplace all the way up and that's really cool. It makes your fireplace look like it's actually a real fireplace. And I had some problems kind of setting it up at first, and I thought I was going to put a wall next to it and close it in, but it ended up looking better just opened like this. And guys, I'm kind of sorry for the jerky camera movement on this. This is my first time ever doing kind of like a speed build before. It ended up taking me two hours to film this whole thing, and it's been sped up ten times. 
So what seemed like normal movements to me at the time are pretty jerky now. And so I hope when I do future speed builds, it's not going to be quite like this. I tried to cut some of the jerkier parts out that didn't really involve me actually doing anything. And so those are gone. I really enjoyed putting these shoe racks in. Again, here I am with some rugs. Again, trying to figure out what I want to do with that. Um, you know, from here, I'm going to start kind of working on the chimney. And as you could tell, I haven't really done anything on the second floor. But I was trying to do it because there's a lighting issue with it. And I wanted to make it look good. And yeah. So this actually looks like a house that I'd be willing to live in, you know? It looks pretty nice, actually. I'm actually kind of surprised it's even beginning to come out this well. I've come a long way since my first L-shaped house. I don't know if y'all saw my first Twitch stream. I actually have a highlight of it where you can see the L house. And the L house was my first house that, again, I was building incrementally. I didn't want to build custom rooms like I am right now because I thought I'd just be so horrible at it that people would laugh at me. So I took like three pre-built rooms and shoved them together in a house and made this weird L with a weird roof. And my now friend Courtney, she it's her first time in the stream and she's actually one of my moderators in Twitch now. She uh, came in and she's like, your roof looks horrible. OK, that's not a direct quote. I'm kind of paraphrasing her, but she kind of made fun of my roof. And uh, I've saved that. I have a separate save file with that before I modified it into a better house because Honestly, it's a good reminder of you gotta always start somewhere. And just because my house is like right now, this still looks kind of blocky and there's still some issues with it. It's, you know, a work in progress. And works in progress are always good because they kind of help you grow as a person. So I don't know. All that being said, this is so much different than my L house. It's not even funny. Uh,. A lot of the builds I've also done in the past were blue, and I tried to break out of that a bit here. There's still some blue elements in it, but there's not many. Like, I tried to incorporate a lot of red. I thought it would have been cool to stack those. Didn't really work, but I put some cabinets up there. I think they kind of look good, because you always have some sort of cabinets in your bathroom to store stuff in. I kind of wish The Sims 4 had better carpets. That's still my one problem with it. Like, when I go out to Sims Resource or anywhere to get custom content, rugs and definitely curtains are like the two things that I go for. I try really hard to get those because, to be honest with you, the ones we have are just kind of lacking to me. And they look really good in houses and they actually look decent, but. Sometimes you just need more variety. Okay, so here I've come back in. I was using the custom uh, the custom counters earlier, and I saw that cabinet with like the china in it, and I just fell in love, and I just had to put it somewhere in the house. And so that's that there. And here I am coming up to the second floor. Again, this is abnormal for me. I would have not put the stairs in until I was ready to come up to the second floor. And here I am, already on the second floor, working on it as it is, as if it's like... It's just going and I'm building out the rooms. This is just so different for me. Uh, interestingly enough, I don't really do any kind of decorating or anything like that in real life. Like, I'm pretty decent at it in The Sims, I guess. I always could improve, though. I'm definitely not the best. There's some crazy people out there that can do really good things. And I, I'm mediocre at best in The Sims. But, like, if I try to do this in real life in my house or my parents' house or anywhere... It just would not come together. It just would not come together at all. Uh, my parents' house that um, I'm currently staying in right now, when we moved in, each room was a different color, and they've been spending the last few years just renovating it piece by piece by piece. And it's all becoming one color. They're all painting it white again. All the rooms were like one was tan, one was blue, one was purple. And it looked... I, I, my best guess is they had children, and one child wanted blue and one child wanted purple and you know they got what they wanted and so that's just kind of how it works out sometimes right and so my parents have been renovating this house and they've done all sorts of things the best thing they ever did though was the bathroom so a lot of my builds end up the bathrooms kind of end up looking the same with these blue tiles or whatever 
they just ended up painting it white uh in real life i would love to paint it blue i love the idea of blue bathrooms but you know it was good that they painted it white before when they bought the house and they only bought this house a few years ago so we're talking like in this decade they bought this house it still had fabric walls from the 80s in the bathroom as wallpaper and that was like the first thing they did was like they ripped that out and it was like glued and stapled and i don't even know it was just stuck to that wall and it took them a long time to take it out but once they got that out they got the mirror down they replaced it with a different mirror and they started replacing the floor that bathroom looks so much better now it's not even it's not even remotely similar and the other problem with that bathroom was it was dark so one of the lights was actually replaced with a heating fan and it was it looked like a stove burner in the ceiling and a fan was over it and it just kind of blew stuff down well they replaced that they had an electrician replace it with the lights so that was really cool and so now it's really bright in there and it's really different from the last time i lived here um as you can see in the upstairs i kind of just did the bedrooms with the children's stuff those are pretty straightforward here i am working on a pool i always have a problem with the pool because i never know how to surround it i decided to put um some concrete around it but not the whole thing here's some trees definitely the palm tree looked pretty decent but i ended up not using it i don't think and here I am trying to paint the ground a little bit, go under the fence. Terrain painting can make your stuff look so good, and I'm so bad at it. This is another area I kind of wish to improve in. Uh, but some of my old builds, I didn't do it at all. There was no terrain painting. And I wouldn't place stones or rocks, and I wouldn't have put these little flowers around the pole. So definitely working on it. This is the coolest part. I used move objects to put these flowers into the bushes. And so now they look like custom little bushes, but really it's just flowers inside a bush. Like, guys, quick way to change your bushes. I'm sure many people have done this before, but I just thought it was just a really cool idea when I did it. So this is kind of the house. There's some landscaping stuff. I'm kind of doing the backyard now, putting a little table with some chairs. And that is our video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, guys. If you have any suggestions for another video or any comments about this video, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you really enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you considered hitting the thumbs up button or even hitting the subscribe button. If you feel so inclined, you can find me on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays regularly or up here on YouTube uploading videos. Again, I really do appreciate it, y'all. Have a good day, and I will see y'all later. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.